James, we have two heats of the WA Bread Championship right here at Cunnington this Saturday. We certainly do, Leia. Looking forward to this series. Both heats only have the six runners in them, but plenty of intrigue across both races, I reckon. Yes, and let's take a look at the field here in Heat 1. The dog in hot form is Momentum, coming off his third win in a row. First start over the 490, James, and what a huge win that was, coming from the outside and jumps wide again from box seven in this heat. In fact, let's have a look at Momentum. Won his past three starts. Leo having a look at the first two of those in that sequence now, both over the 405 metre journey, both uh, with the dog jumping out of box one and going on to win these races very comfortably. You've got to remember this dog's now won eight of 11 starts. He's had a superb start to his career. And then we switch to last night, Tuesday night at Mandra. This is the dog stepping up to the 490 metre journey. There were some questions over how he would handle this extra distance, but we got some answers pretty quick here, didn't we? From box eight, momentum absolutely firing to the lead immediately putting a margin on them streaking away and winning this one very comfortably the time if you don't mind 27 36 hot times indeed look and he goes into he steps up again another chest test ahead of momentum but uh, you su suggest that he'll be able to handle it on saturday this is going to be his first start over the 520 so another change of scene for him again and we also see sunset piper in this heat james what are your thoughts there uh yeah look didn't fire in the final of the spring gift did she form prior to that obviously was very good look certainly has to be considered to be a chance fire clouds another dog i'm not completely ruling out here got checked early last week uh, in his run jumps out of the same draw this week if he's able to find his way up near the lead i think it'll be a chance probably uh, one of the big changes here pixie manelli has won her last two starts over the 490 at mandra both of those have been from inside draws as well so we'll see how she goes out from box eight but you have to respect that form having won her last two starts let's take a look at heat two we'll bring up the field here and Taking a look at the inside runners, James, Myrtle Manelli comes up with box one, won her last two, but that was over the 600 metres, and kennel mate Malawi Manelli did have a good run, four starts back over the 520 drawn beside Myrtle. Uh, yeah, as you mentioned, Myrtle Manelli in the middle distance races, her first and only win over the 520 was in mid-June, has box one here, but probably not likely to lead this one. Malawi Manelli ran second last week. Didn't mind this run though. Decent recovery after he had a pretty dicey start here. Was willing to put his shoulder to the wheel and work his way back into this race and run second place. Jimmy's decision and another dog that was, was runner up last week. Jimmy's decision, Malawi Manelli, both running their first sections here in about the 550s mark. Uh, so interesting to see which one of them is able to get the ascendancy here early stages. So the, the question marks for me, Leia, in this one, what do Sarong and Sunset Toxic do in well, this race? As we've actually recently had a chat to Paul Stewart and he says that Sarong needs to step early to be able to, to win. So I think I'm with you there, James. I think it's which dog can lead. Yeah, and, well, Sarong's certainly in, in the mix for that. And if he does lead, he'll, he'll be a big chance here. Sunset Toxic's been very enigmatic of late, of course, uh, won the WA Sprint Championship uh, a month or so back since then. Hasn't quite been there, but capable on his night. So th this one's an open race, in my opinion. I think so. I think it'll be both of them are pretty, pretty open races. So the heats of the WA Bread Championship this Saturday at Cannington. The back, Sleepy George works the lead up around the outside. Nengar Rust now looms up. Nengar Rust goes up, hits the front. Jimmy's decision late. Nengar Rust wins for the Shane train. Okay, we've seen the concluding stages of Nang uh, Rust's win from last Saturday night. And why are we showing that other than...
to display the fact that both of our <laughs> tips got rolled in that race. Oh, was by, it that race? I forgot about, <laughs> by I forgot about Nanga that. Russ. There is another reason why we're showing it. There is because a share of the prize money from that race is being donated to childhood cancer, which is very fitting as it is Gold Ribbon Month in September. And this has all come about because trainer Shane Williams listened to an interview that you and Peter O'Neill did on Greyhound Gossip last Monday. Yes, we had special guest Samara Thompson, who is a grader at racing and wagering at WA in the Greyhound department, and her daughter Scarlett has had childhood cancer, so they've grown through that battle together. It's a very special place in her heart. Yeah, and wonderful for Shane to get on board. Here's what he had to say about his involvement in this. Basically, just my share of the prize money. Um, we're just going to give 10% for this month to the that support group that um, Samara mentioned on the show. That's the reason I, I sort of heard Pete show. And, um, yeah, I just messaged her and I said, listen, I want to do something. And this is what I do. You just let me know what is the best cause to put it to, you know. And then she's just suggested that, that group. $1,200 raised so far. We're only midway through September, so hopefully a lot, lot more goes into that kitty. Uh, fantastic by Shane and his owners that have got involved in this. Yes, it's good to see the owners jumping on board as well. And Shane is hoping, fingers crossed, that he can organise something with Samara at the end of the month. He's hoping to bring a greyhound to the children's ward so they can, you know, have a smile on their faces, having a little dog to visit and also to donate in person the prize money that he's gathered. Now, Leia, we have been on the journey with you, with Panama Pepper, your first experience as a greyhound owner. Been quite a ride, I've got to say. At, at times, <laughs> it's been a little bit like the ride from the Temple of Indiana Jones, the Temple of Doom. A lot of twists and turns. We certainly had one of those last Wednesday night. Let's start with something really good to, to kick off with. This was the win of Panama Pepper in the Spring Maiden Classic. In behind them was Provider, then followed in turn next of all to Hecton's Boy. The favourite got checked and dragged down. Cal cover and count out wider, along with Provider, fired up Finn down the back straight, and Panama Pepper, although got dragged down, he's been able to pick himself off the canvas, and he drives the lead. In second place was good to go. Three lengths behind them, West on Jasper. Floki Draven fired up Finn. He's pretty smart, this bloke. Panama Pepper, he's hot, and he races clear. Wins Superb the lead. Superb effort from Panama. Win. Showed a lot of guts and determination to win that but post race was a problem the greyhound wasn't able to come back to the days for the presentation no a few problems there but i think the main focus and i know for myself the other owners and of course kira and steve as well is that pepper is okay and we have a group chat on facebook and steve and kira are wonderful they steve knows exactly what he's doing with the dog and they keep us posted with videos and photos and he got a little ice cream and nuggets after the win to congratulate him. Also so. got a really nice photo of you and your partner yes. Nick as well. Yes, with a trophy, first ever trophy, which is nice. Only two races in, two wins, and he got us a trophy. And of course, the important thing is that the dog is okay. He is, and we've seen videos recently of him wagging his tail, jumping up and about, so he's back to his normal self. Yeah, well, we, he's... Be off the scene for a little while, putting his paws yes. up, yes, uh, and having a rest. But uh, we are looking forward to seeing this dog back because his race craft and uh, determination for, for such a young dog really superb. So, uh, an exciting dog, I think. Oh, he loves to race, and you can just definitely when you meet him, you just know that he wants to get on track. All right, speaking of get on track, make sure you get on track at Mandra tomorrow night for Dude, Dude Food. Food every Thursday night for the month of September. We're nearly midway through the month That's now, crazy, James, so crazy, only about quick. three weeks left to get on board. Yeah, it should be good. And what about getting on board with our social media, Leo? Yes, and we have we are on multiple platforms, James, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So make sure you jump on, follow us. And what we love to see as well is when you tag us and everything, we want to see what you get up to. Racing tonight at Cannington Layer. Get down to the track. Box One Restaurant, what is the chef's special tonight? Ooh, pork loins, which sound absolutely divine with a nice cider sauce. I've heard that they come with as well, James. Yeah, looking forward to that. Get on board with that. What about some best bets? Both of us have jumped on the, the Shane, Shane train. train. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that they come through because of what he's doing with the right. childhood cancer 
10% prize money going to that support group. James, let's kick off with yours. Who was your best bet? Yeah, I'm heading towards race 10, the dog jumping out of the Molly Ringwall, box <laughs> eight here, elite weapon. Peter O'Neill's favourite greyhound. Yes. And look, she could become my favourite greyhound as well if she continues on the way she did in her last start. Uh, tested here against some handy starts from a wide draw. I don't think the wide draw... Uh, will phase her though she does tend to stay off the fence a little bit and I think she's a big chance to lead this one she if she does lead she should go on all the way and hopefully get a bit more money in the kitty here for Shane Williams yes yeah, so elite weapon is your best my best is actually Nangar Russ and we saw a replay just a bit earlier on but I really liked his run. He's got a good record here. Race five, number two, by the way, just so we're aware. Race five, <laughs> number two, Nangai Russ. Good record over this track and distance. Four starts, two, two wins and a second. And also has the early speed that should be able to situate him in an ideal position to take out the wind. So Nangai Russ, for me, is my best bet. All right, all aboard the Shane train. <laughs> Departing the station tonight at Cannington. Well, we hope. Anyway, Leia. <laughs> Plenty happening as always. Lots. We've covered some of it. Uh, make sure you get head down the track and get involved with Greyhound Racing here in Western Australia.